Well, hello guys. Welcome back. Today was Viking Day. I should have known when sometime late last night Viking Hugabunny, yeah, Viking New Age Hugabunny um loves everyone. Odin showed up that it was true. But he knows very well I trust him, so I followed wherever New Age Fluffa Bunny Odin was leading and he led me to that book. I should have known a trap. I should have seen an Odin trap on my way. Especially when Loki gets suspiciously quiet or just comes and is observing quietly. I should know a trap's being laid, but oh no. Then last night it was a contest of wheels where I don't know if this was some kind of... It didn't feel like a vision or anything, so take it for what it's worth. I'm running across a snowy field trying to get to a tree line. Not in fear or anything. There's something in that woods that I want. And there's a wolf with me, and he's both young and fit and at his peak. And he will body slam me every time I'm running forward. And I went through him, and I know damn well this wolf is Odin, or representation of Odin. And I will body slam him, and, you know, he will body slam me, and we're having this contest, and every time we hit, we hit with equal force. And we're really not trying to hurt each other, and there's a lot of snapping and snarling and forcing and pushing and everything, and every so often he's an old wolf and he falls down and he goes, eh! You know, and it's, this keeps happening, keeps happening, keeps happening. And no matter how many times I go and I think about something else and I, this just keeps coming up, this same wolf still there, same field, everything. Same contest works out like a ritual. And I had started getting filled with a lot of rage last night, and I couldn't figure out where it was coming from, but I knew it was coming from outside of me. And eventually, when the wolf and I are fighting, I just totally lost it, and I didn't care who this wolf was. This wolf was in my way, and I wanted something. And I woke up this morning in a horrible mood. And somehow or another... You know, every time I was going out, it wasn't working right. Because I was like, I have to go out and like at least get some basic food in the house. And it wasn't working out right for me. And then I came across a Viking special of all things. And I was watching it. And Odin's like, well, watch it and be fair. And think about it as a tactician would. Don't think about it as some kind of, you know, overly sensitive people. And what they actually did is they were smart. They hit all the weakest targets first, because that's what you do. And they built up their reserves, because they were stupid. And if they could do something the sneaky way, they did something the sneaky way, because who was the god of the Vikings that went on raids? <laughs> and he was very happy. And so he says, you know, if you go out with my blessing, I bet your luck will turn around. Let's go on a Viking raid together. Not, we're we're bantering semantics and we're bantering about stuff back and forth. So we go up, and with his advice, I got like a fluff ton of food, and I'm like, this has just never been in the store. I've just never noticed it at these prices. And then coming back, still couldn't get anything. He advised me to like stop the gas station. And the one thing I had in mind wasn't there. And then he's like, go, oh, go ahead, go up to the um, DQ. And I'm, I'm looking at him like, y you, you've totally lost it. But I did. And I found a quarter up there. And there was this weird thing about this guy with quarters, and he has so many quarters. And I'm thinking, well, somebody could give me a quarter. Damn if I didn't find a quarter up there. And it's, um... It's Odin being Odin, clearing his territory challenging his people it was almost like it was combat training in some kind of sense of you like to think you're going to be this tiny lamb because that was today's talking point in the lecture from Odin you like to think you're you're this kind of tiny lamb nice new age person and you're vicious unprincipled and cutthroat just like me that's why I love you I love you you're one of mine my people are vicious and brutal, and you do what it takes to get ahead. Yay! <laughs> and I said, that is nothing to celebrate. And we're talking about, I said, I know, like, I'm greedy, 
and I'm territorial and you get out of my territory. When I decide something is my territory, you get out. And I was like, you're just like me. I love you so much. You're like a little me. You're like one of my little wolf wolves. And Loki's just laughing his ass off. Loki's loving it. Loki's like, you're exactly like him. I said, you're greedy too. And he goes, yeah, because we don't have a problem with it. He said, you you just think that you can go be this thing that you can't be. He goes, you don't have it in you. He goes, you're greedy, self-centered, and competitive, just like both of us are. Why do you think we're your main deities? I was like, oh. He goes, it's okay. Will you stop worrying? Oh, it's okay to be greedy. It's okay to be competitive. It's okay to look at a writer and think, that bitch better step off because <laughs> this is my deity and my field of expertise. He said, you're supposed to be competitive. You know, up to a point, they don't want us actually physically harming each other. But Odin was pointing out that the Vikings that did the best were the Vikings that learned to set aside their feuds and form, you know, loose coalitions. And if, like, say, 70 Viking ships came for you, if it wasn't just one leader, like, say, Ragnar or somebody got, like, a bunch of ships or something, um, then all those ships were independent military fighting units, which was why they were so damn impossible to stop, because you didn't have anything anybody with a military understood. It wasn't just one huge military of, like, you know, a flotilla of ships. It was, like, say, 70, 80, 100, 200, 300, 400 independent armies with their own independent agendas coming for you, and they loved burning the fuck out of things they would burn stuff down because they knew that you know and you know this is not me glorifying some of the things the vikings did but they knew tactically speaking if they set your village on fire you had a lot more important shit to worry about than whether they were looting and taking half your people you had priorities now before winter came so it was just it was interesting is what it was and he was very happy because he pointed out that Christianity only conquered the Vikings. And this was on the History Channel. This wasn't just somebody, like, spouting off. Because the Viking leaders realized that it was a lot easier to lead people that were taught to be sheep than independent, free-thinking Vikings. Because, you know, it's a totally different system. In Viking society, it was like, oh yeah, everybody for themselves, everybody get ahead, everybody elect their leader, have a thing, and everything else. This new religion gave them a lot more control over the people, and Odin smiled. I'm like, that's why you didn't step in, because you figured they were getting what they deserved. And he smiled. I don't know. I don't know why stuff played out the way it did, other than humans are greedy, and it wasn't, you know... Oh, those bad, horrible Christians. It was the Viking leadership themselves saw the power of making everybody have the same religion because it makes people very submissive and very easy to control, and that's why it took over. <laughs> I'm like, it is just like a Viking. <laughs> but then, in the end, that was the end of their society because they lost the old gods and they lost their independence and they kind of integrated a little too much and kind of lost all their teeth and that was the end of Viking society. So, it was a good day. Odin just reestablished his territory. Um, Overall, the Jesus book was terrible. It went from everything from people that sounded, and I know how bizarre I sound, but it's people that sounded like they needed medication or therapy to people that were, there were at least four or five atheist authors in there. And I'm like, why do you people go to the trouble of joining Order of Druids? Is this like the new word for atheist? Getting all this clerical training and then you're just an atheist. Why Why bother? To me, it's a mystery. Any of the times I've been like leaning towards atheism, we have something on this planet called science, and it actually works. Why would I study something that doesn't work and I didn't believe in? <sighs> but that is what it is. Um, and Odin turned it to his advantage, is what he did. He turned the fact that they got a group of people together, and they didn't have leadership. And turns out the guy that wrote the book, the supposed priest, he's pretty much an atheist. He doesn't tell you. He tries to word it in a way that he thinks you will be bamboozled and not know. And I'm like, you, sir, are an atheist. Why the hell are you selling this in the religious section? Please 
you know, get this through your head. Atheism isn't a religion. A lack of something is not a religion. It's, it's, it's just not. It's an okay to be atheist. They have churches now. They have churches all their own, and they call them churches, and they can go and be with all other atheists. You don't have to, you know, try to invade other religions now, but I shall get off my soapbox. So, um, we had a pretty good day. We, we, um, got a bunch of provisions. We got a bunch of groceries. The wolf that is supposed to come tomorrow is actually a couple of towns over. So the wolf is supposed to come tomorrow. The other wolf, the really colorful one, hasn't shipped yet, but we're getting the mascot wolf. And I'm going to have to pick out a name for him. And I'm like, well, he traveled so fast, maybe like a Viking name, like Ragnar or something. But I don't know. We'll see. It's it's kind of uncanny how all this stuff is happening. And I, I saw tattoos and everything today, but I have still to see my two ravens, my two um, wolves. And I looked, I know I'm going on for a while, you know my backward stories. I looked in the holiday stuff. I'm like, if I see something that's dead on Odin, you know, like Father Christmas in the dark blue and everything else, I'm going to get it. But I haven't seen anything yet. Yeah, I'm still looking. So if you guys like what you see, like, comment, subscribe, and we will see you later. Bye-bye.